Le Cage aux Folles is Wolverhampton's Grand Theatre from the 27th of June through to the 1st of July. And I have two of the stars of the show with me now. Marty Weber and Adrian Zmed. How are we doing? How's that good? Beautifully pronounced, yes. Well, well, good to meet up with you both. Thank you for joining us. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, Adrian, tell us a little about your role in the show because you are taking one of the leads. Uh, I play George, who is the uh, uh, owner of the Santa Pay nightclub uh, that it's all about, which is called La Caja Fall. And uh, George is kind of like a... He's running a three-ring circus between putting on the show with all of his dancers and, and everything, and his partner, Alban, who is the star of the show. And then his, uh, his son suddenly drops a bomb on the family and says, I'm, uh, marry- I'm getting married, and I'm uh, getting married to the, uh, the father of the, of, the, uh, of the girl, is, the, uh, is quite a, a conservative uh, gentleman himself with a political party. And uh, suddenly our entire world is thrown up in, in, in chaos. So I'm trying to keep the show going. I'm trying to keep my son happy. And we're trying to get uh, him, him married. And uh, then Marty, who is the owner of the... Um, the best restaurant in all of France is yes. what I say in, <laughs> in the show, <laughs> Chez Jacqueline. Chez Jacqueline. Jacqueline. And uh, uh, she is a dear friend uh, of ours. We always send customers to each other. Pretty much, Marty saves the day. Jacqueline saves the day at the, at the very end for us all. When everything looks like everything has completely fall, fallen apart, we pull like a rabbit out of a hat, and there we go. Every, everybody lives happily ever after. But it is a fun, feel-good show, and you get all of that with great music, and exactly. great, great stars, yeah. and uh, some great fun along the way. I'm giving you the, the bare-bones you know, <laughs> concept of, of, of what the story is about and everything, but it, it doesn't even do justice to what the show is. It's a throwback to the days of the grand costumes and sets and, 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 and choreography, but the story is marvelous. It's a story mm. about a family. It's a story about a family that's dealing with a crisis right here, and everything goes wrong constantly from the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> everything is constantly going wrong. We're trying to get, get, get things going. So it's, a, it's, it's really a, a show that has a, so much heart, I cannot tell you. And then it's, it's funny. It is. It's very funny. Yeah. It's very funny. Very witty. Mm-hmm. Very witty. And, uh, and people, it's lovely to hear people laugh, too. It's really nice. And it's, mm. it's entertaining, basically. That's what it is. Uh, but, I mean, based on a, a French play from, what, mm-hmm. the early part of the 70s, it's a story that has stood the test of time. And one that, in some ways, I mean, would be very forward-thinking compared to what we'd expect to see on stage maybe back then. They had just had the 60s and all that. And I know you neither of you old enough to remember the 60s properly. But uh, it's... Fortunately, uh, we do. I do. I was working quite well then in the Actually, I, I, you, you were but I mean it, it, it is a, a, a nice uh, piece which, it, which has got all parts of humanity in it and it, and it tells yeah. a tale really yeah. well I think because of that I think it does and it, the thing is it's wonderful to look at I mean we have wonderful sets beautiful costumes and I have to say the Cargels are absolutely amazing they're the dancers in it and they're boys but are they boys they could be girls nobody ever knows <laughs> and the costumes are absolutely wonderful and their dancing is brilliant and the whole thing and we don't have a fourth wall either so the audience actually becomes our audience in La Cage Folle mm-hmm. it becomes my patrons in my restaurant so the audience are very much part of the show all the time I think that's one of the magic of the yeah. shows is that the second the show starts I walk out and start talking to the audience and welcoming, welcoming them to La Cage of Fall mm-hmm. so immediately they are a part of of the show from the beginning, mm-hmm. you know, to the end. Plus, there's a there's some things in this show that people I think are a little surprised at, and as to how timely actually this show is and the themes that it, it touches. I mean, the theme song "I Am What I Am," obviously in the ni- early '80s when when Harvey and, and Jerome uh, wrote it, um, it was what it was for that time. Today, it means even more mm-hmm. with what's going on in this world in being who you are. And then the wonderful song that, that Marty sings, Best of Times, mm. is another magnificent song that is about living in the now and, and enjoying what you have now, not what was yesterday and not what is tomorrow uh, uh, that, that is coming, you know, uh, you know in, in, the, in the future. So there are so many wonderful themes to this mm. show in addition to a wonderful storyline. And obviously, you talk about uh, the songs of the show. I mean, Marty, you're not uh, exactly uh, unused to having some of the show-stopping numbers, and uh, by the sounds of things, you Did do you get know it. That actually, she's oh. a legend. Oh. <laughs> well, she is actually. Every night, you know, every, I, like, every time this. I say, "Is the legend in? Uh, has she arrived?" Uh, I just want to know so that we can start now. Okay, you're a legend yourself, though, with your with your work in uh, in TV. That you you were part of my growing up in TJ Hooker, Thank that you. sort of Thank stuff. You. So you, you, yeah. you're a legend as well. So you know, it is good to be sat here next to both of you. And but so you, you get used to show stopping numbers. Uh, you were 
done that much uh, you know, just musical theatre in the past? Is this something that which oh. is, which is uh, that you're used to? Or oh, what, no, what, where can, where can we tell? That's how I started out my career on yeah. Broadway, uh, doing the original Grease, actually, on Broadway. I was Danny Zuko. And then I... <laughs> And then after that, I actually went to bed to, to Hollywood right after that and started doing a bunch of television and film. I actually did Priest 2, pretty close set right after I did uh, my stint on Broadway with that. But then I returned to theater about 10 years later, and I've done 20 or 30 productions of Broadway's and national tour companies at this point. Uh, I kind of, it's, it's one of those things where my manager said, it's time for you to go to, 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 to L.A. and Hollywood. Hollywood is calling you now. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go. I wanted to stay in New York because I was doing well. Mm -hmm. But he said, Hollywood's calling you now, but Broadway will always be there. And he was right. You know, I went back, and here I am in the U.K. Mm -hmm. for my, the very first time, actually, yes. and loving it. And, and how do you think it differs uh, UK theatre audiences to, to US? Do, do you, I, hopefully, I mean, the Brits are, are more up for this. Uh, I'd like to think that we're, we're, the, we're the ones who really bring it home. Actually, you, you all do appreciate theater a lot more than the American audiences appreciate theater. Uh, I think I can count on one hand the national touring companies throughout the United States that are, are going right now. I think there's 25 uh, yeah, easily, out right easily, now here yeah. in the UK and to me that is remarkable and amazing. Certainly we have our Broadway uh, you know, uh, audience and they go to the theater. Those are the people who love it but every single city in this country embraces theater like tremendously. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were just talking about a production of La Caja Fall that was here eight years ago that was a local production. Yeah. Uh, and all that, that's, that's fantastic that you all embrace theater so, so much. Uh, that's why I'm glad I'm here, enjoying all your, your cities. And I'm driving. I learned how to drive yes, from Marty. Yes, please beware, beware. Okay. I learned how to drive from Marty. <laughs> <laughs> On the other is, side. Is, is this true? <laughs> yeah, this is true, this is true. You've yeah. taken your man for legend, le legend lessons, is that how yes, it works? Yes, legend lessons, yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Uh, she'll so. actually be doing car lessons if, uh, during the summer on our, on our hiatus. She'll be, you know, doing... Uh, <laughs> so who gets the best frocks in the show? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping you get some nice little outfits. Well... Wait, 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 what's a frock? <laughs> okay. There we go again. Here we go. Translate, okay. what's a frock? Subtitles it's a dress. Around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Right. <coughs> right. A costume, maybe. Oh, right. yeah. Right. yeah. So, so do you get a few good numbers? I get, I get the costumes. Yes, I get costumes. I think the car girls get the best costumes. Right. And certainly John does, as Alba. He gets all the glamour. You know, that's the thing. You get all the glamour in the nightclub. I'm a bit more staid. I don't sort of, I'm not a performer. The, the restaurant so. doesn't have that sort of stuff. But I, I, no, I, no. I assume Jacqueline still dresses up a little for her clientele. Yes, she does. She does dress up a bit, usually by Chanel, what can one say, <laughs> you know. And, and she likes her bling. She does like her bling, that's mm. for sure. Uh, but it's basically, um, the costumes are fantastic that the boys wear. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? But it is. And the ones that John wears as Alba are absolutely wonderful, wonderful. He's... The, the, this is a fun I don't like show to give to away t too much because the costumes are also, and if I say it, they're going to know then what he does. <coughs> so I'd rather have it be a surprise okay. for people. No spoilers, but no. well worth seeing them dressing up yes, and well yes. and, and enjoy the, uh, the the whole look of it. And have you, you either of you had a chance to see this production? Have you had a night off or a, an afternoon off? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, no, it hasn't happened. No. Okay. Oh, you are no, a funny man. What a funny stage, man. Yeah, it, 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 I actually mm -hmm. went and watched last night in the wings to watch the opening, which I hadn't seen since Oxford when mm -hmm. we opened. And I went and watched it from the front with the dress rehearsal and it was lovely it was absolutely fabulous but of course it's quite interesting watching it from the wings because you see a quite a different perspective because everything's done for the front you know so it was but it was lovely I really enjoyed it It was nice seeing some scenes that I hadn't seen for a long time because you hear everything on the tannoy if you don't necessarily see it unless you're in it mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not quite the same watching on maybe a little screen on preview backstage because yeah, no. you're mostly worrying about when you're on next when it's like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it was it, it was for us, wasn't it? And Oxford was a bit nightmarish, our first venue and everything, getting used to it and the wings yeah, and where to change and things like this. Uh, from yeah. rehearsal to actually doing it, yeah, we yes. only had a few days. And there's so many quick changes. <clears> there <throat> are so many quick changes. I so mean, some of them are five 50, seconds. It's like, and quick you know. Oof. And then that's just you. Yeah, really. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's the weeks that worry him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I can imagine yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. bit of a, a problem. But thank you both. It's great talking to you. Thank it you. sounds like it's a great show. Adrian Zemmett and Marty Webb. Thank, thank you yes. for that. Mm -hmm. Grandtheatre.co.uk to get your tickets or 01902 429212 for the box office. Get along and see a brilliant show from the 27th of June through to the 1st of July when La Caja Fall arrives at Wolverhampton's Grand and arrive in style, I'm sure it will. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, looking forward it to it. It will. Yes, it will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both.